Hello. Good. Oh, nice. All right, I will stay for one more minute. Uh, yeah, I'll this is what my next meeting for you. <laughs> okay. Well, I have a question, which is that your relationships to one another seems very real, like real family. And so I wanted to ask, uh, what is it like behind the scenes? How much time do you spend together? When do you meet? How is it? Is that all acting that you feel that we feel this love between us? We were lucky that we liked each other. We we didn't uh, we had never met until we started the show, um, but uh, we just found it very quickly that we that we clicked and uh, meet, not in a yeah not in a bigger bigger kind of way. We just like each other and we were comfortable enough very quickly to um, take the piss out of each other as well, or to you know or to have fun on set or to play jokes on each other. So when you know you can do that and, and really relax in a thing, then yeah. It's and thank God we just don't take ourselves too seriously. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> There's something really cool too that happens in, in your in Mrs. S's house. Yeah. Like Jordan yeah. and I have talked about it. It feels home. like coming home. The Aww. set is like next to Felix's loft and you know Allison's rehab place. But it feels like home for some reason. The the something in the air that yeah, it's true. You know true, the yeah. scenes are lit a certain way and Kira's there and there's just like something different about it. Yeah, yeah. comforting. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. So Tatiana, yeah. your um, list of people that you are is just growing. Mm. How do you? What do you do to differentiate yourself already and, and decide what each person is going to do? Mm, it's different for each one of them, I think, depending on how physically it's different or, or emotionally or whatever. Um, uh, but for me, the writing is where the where it starts, and the writing is so strong and the voices are so strong on the page that I don't feel like I'm like, yeah, how do I create this person? You know, the person is there, and it's just acknowledging that that person's in me. You know, and I think as actors, we we're all playing a character. That's, vastly different from us yeah and um, yet you just get your cues from your fellow actors I've said this a lot about you know both Jordan and Maria if I'm playing Allison with, uh, opposite them they treat me differently than if I'm not Sarah you know so you get a lot of that from each other mm. so easy to live in the little girl with Sarah too yeah. because she's so bossy and she's so headstrong <laughs> and, and takes control just like expect you <laughs> and there's there is an expectation I'm just going to do whatever she has to do. Yeah. Your, your moments I would say bossy, Felix though. has been stepping up though yeah. <laughs> this past yeah. season. It took him a long time. Yeah, but long he's long coming out. He's coming into his own. There was resolution after like 72 hours. <laughs> okay, I forgive you. Yeah. Well, speaking of coming into his own, this next season, how much more are they going to develop his character in becoming more of an action character? Because he's becoming involved in all these little hijinks well, and schemes and things. Well, he's been studying Taekwondo. <laughs> <laughs> um, I don't know. I don't know what's. I've been saying like every time I come to these, I do these expos or conventions, or I'm doing TCAs. Or I'm always in, in a panic to sort of say, well, you know, I think this is what's going to happen. This is what I, I have no idea what's going to happen next next year. I've been. Um, investigating myself a lot and, and and trying to get myself more comfortable with with showing everyone with telling stories about like uncomfortable things like pain or or, or um, a heartbreak or grief. I want to. I'm trying to be more comfortable telling those stories in my work and like showing people that I, I, I know what that's about. And that's kind of a scary thing to do as an actor because you have to admit that you are vulnerable and you you hurt and you've hurt people and you're not always good all the time. I don't know what I don't know what's gonna happen, uh, but I know that whatever it's gonna be, I'm just gonna dive in head first and I'll treat it like I treat anything else. I feel like the most. Oh, one more. Okay. One more. Okay. One more question. Right. Are we good right. Quick I question. Just, quick yeah. 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 <laughs> Everyone loves Helena, and I. One of the questions I have is, how are we really supposed to feel about her? We love her, but she does bad things. That's the best thing I think. I think you shouldn't know how you're supposed to feel about her, because I don't know. I don't know how I feel about her either. You know, I love her to shreds, but. And she had bad nurture. Yeah. You know, she yeah. didn't learn how to do good things. Yeah. So we can forgive her a lot, I yeah. think. We you know? all do bad things. Like, yeah. We all do bad things. <laughs> 
Okay. Not quite like that. But, but I will say, many people have been in this situation before where if there was nobody around and there were no consequences, people have gotten angry enough they'd kill someone. Yeah. Like you, we have to admit that about ourselves, and I that's why. I just that Helena is not easy, is easily more easily forgiven than Rachel is. Right? Yeah. Sure. People are yeah. like, oh, Helena's so cute, but Rachel. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah. Why are you? Yeah. 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 She deserves a pencil. Yeah. <laughs> While they're not looking, favorite part. Allison. <laughs> Felix's favorite is Sarah. Sarah. Mine's Christina. Oh. I love Danielle, the one who's the, the one passport one. No. <laughs> uh, She's so Danielle. Yeah. Uh, got it. That's like the Tony. 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 Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Guys, we gotta move on. But thank you. Okay. Thank you very much. Thanks so much. Thank you.